Ricca Riccatelli, look, a couple of years, signed the contract. Uh, you must be happy to get that all done. Yeah, grateful to get it um, signed two more years with the Blues. Um, it's a place that I've enjoyed for the last couple of years, so happy days. Yeah. Tell us, mate, you, you, you live up here part time. Um, what, what's the situation? You flat with a couple of the guys, must have built a bit of camaraderie over the years. Yeah, live with a couple of the boys from the side, so got to know them really well, and um, the environment as a whole is an awesome one, so really enjoying it and um, enjoyed some footy as well. I just guess just for context, who are the, who are the uh, couple of fellas you live with? <laughs> live with uh, Sam Derry, Finlay Christie, Adrian Cho and Tom Robinson. So that's a, that's a flat and a half, isn't it? <laughs> it's a big flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and in the decision to, to, to sign on again, you, you must be pretty happy with the, the club as a whole and how everything works. Is that, is that part of the decision making? Yeah, it's been good. Like I've um, put some good thought into it and I really enjoyed, as I said, really enjoyed my time here. Um, it's a place where I feel that I can maximise my potential and genuinely contribute to a team to perform at its best. And um, it's also a side that I think I can grow at and um, keep getting better and yeah. yeah. On that growth, what, what what is this next little phase for Ricky Riccatelli about? It's about someone that wants to apply their trade to their best of ability and try to genuinely improve as a person on and off the field and as a rugby player. And um, yeah, put my hand up and um, try to do my, do my actions, do a bit of the talking. On that improvement, mate, like, I mean, I see it, you're often out there, one of the last trainers out there, be it working on your, your own stuff or helping other guys, younger guys in the team with uh, what they're working on. What motivates you to, to be doing all the work ons and all the extras? Um, sort of just a no stone unturned sort of mentality, like this game, um, you know, continues to give me a lot. And I know when I was um, their age coming through the ranks that it was, you know, like a little help or a little bit of advice or a few technique things then on certain areas would go a long way and I'd remember those so always keen to help out but um, for me personally I just want to leave that sort of no stone unturned of, in prep and yeah so just when it comes to Saturday I can sort of relax and enjoy it. And if we apply that kind of mentality and then look at the um, sort of game time you've had this year, you've been a really reasonably regular starter in that Blues hooking position. Uh, firstly, are you enjoying obviously the regular game time and, and what do you think has helped contribute to that? Yeah, I think I've definitely enjoyed it, yeah. Um, it's sort of what I've been what I've been after, you know, just some consistency and I think I haven't changed too much. I've just really just focused on the basics and um, not overcomplicating everything and just really doing nailing my role for the team and everything else, all the other stuff outside of that. Um, the core roles and now in my role is just a bonus for me and yeah I'm just trying to work hard mate and put my best foot forward. And, uh, uh, look, you know you're five ten metres out from the line, uh, the ball's at the back of a ruck, yeah. I mean you, the eyes light up a little bit I'd imagine, yeah. uh, it must be nice to get a couple of tries. Yeah it's, no, <laughs> it's been good to get crossover a few times for the, for the fellas though and um, yeah it's good, happy days. <laughs>